Hello everyone and welcome to this new video, new challenge, in which you're going to learn so much things. Let's get started. So the challenge name is Kai Tower. It's known on Valnhub, but it also it's also available on rootme.org. And so why not just use the online hosted version instead of deploying it locally? So the first thing we need to do is, as usual, run a port scan. And we will start with the top 20 ports and use the verbose mode and run our scan. Oops, I need to redirect errors to dev null and retry. So this should give us a quick result to start our attacks. Oh, I got a lot of filtered uh, ports. Okay, let's... Um, well, it's okay for now. So we have 22, we have 80. A bunch of others are just filtered. So I'm going to now target all TCP ports. If you've been following my videos, you know that I like to use the shorthand dash p dash and then dash o to redirect all the scan results to files um, to the file scan not nmap. Let's uh, give it a spin and while it's running we're going to probe the port 80 and port 22. We're going to SSH using a user to ctf09.rootme.org and uh, because I've been using ctf09 for other challenges it's asking me to remove the key. So let's retry and yes we get a prompt and let's use just a dummy password to verify that the service is running. Yes, it's accepting passwords. So we will leave that for now. Okay, let's continue to port 80 and we suspect it could be an HTTP service as shown here by Nmap, but let's verify that. So that would be ctf09.rootme org and it seems that we land on a logging skytech logging it requires an email and a password and nothing else okay well before trying to send any requests let's see what's the source code looks like and this is just a bunch of uh, CSS there is a form that posts to login.php with the email and the password and nothing else. Okay. Well, let's try with a dummy uh, thing like admin admin. And it says here login failed. I wonder what do we have here in the source? Oops, it's just a uh, New line, logging fail, and then a new line. Nothing really interesting here. Okay, let's go back to our nmap scan and see what we've got. Oh, a new port, 3128. Uh, I suspect this is related to squid. That's the default port. And you get that with experience. Speaking of experience, if you want to become a ethical hacker, there is a cool job called Penetration Tester. That's what I do for a living. You can go to academy.therhackerish.com and there you will find a course called From Zero to Securing Your First Penetration Tester Job. And it was designed specifically for people who struggle to either acquire the technical knowledge or find and succeed in their job interviews to become penetration testers. 
I have some students currently and they are killing it in the course. So if you're interested, I would hope to see you there. Let's go back to our logging page. Um, yeah, we had a port called um, port 3128. So let's take that and just use it to browse directly. And yes, indeed, we have a typical error from Squid. This is the logo of the Squid proxy. And it says here, um, invalid URL, da, 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 da. and this is the version of the Squid service running currently. So what can we do about this? Well, the first thing I can uh, think of is to use this as a open proxy and see if we can proxy our requests through it. But we're not going to do that just yet. Um, I would like to see if there are any other ports. So 22 we already seen, 80 and yeah, it seems that these are the only ones that we have in the TCP realm. Let's go back to our web service and uh, see what we can do about the logging. So let's try something like a single quote for SQL injection, login, login failed, okay. What about or one equals one? Login, ooh. You have an error in your SQL syntax. Cool. We've triggered a SQL error and this is our injected input. So this this doesn't look quite like our input, but we can recognize the one, the one, and the semicolon. We recognize our dummy password. So I guess there is some kind of filtering going on here. But uh, anyways, I think that's the entry point for us. And uh, let's dig into it and see if we can exploit it, this uh, potential SQL injection. And we're going to do that in the next video. Make sure to subscribe and hit the ring bell so that you get notified once the video goes live. As always, stay curious, keep learning and go find some bugs.